Hi guys, so nandito na tayo ngayon sa problem solving natin regarding sa ating module 10 about torsion. So, start na tayo class. Example number 1. The steel shaft, 3 feet long and 4 inch in diameter, carries the end torque of 15 kilopound foot. Determine the maximum shear stress in the shaft and the angle of twist of the shaft. Use shear modulus equals to 12 times 10 raised to 6 psi for steel. Okay, so... Uh, first thing to do is i-draw muna natin siya class. So let's say ito yung shaft and then uh, supported siya dito sa po, ano na to, point na to. Let's say ito is uh, A, ito yung B. Okay, and then sabi sa A meron daw dyang plus na torque which is ito yung direction niya. And that is 15 kilopound foot. Okay. So, given din ang length. So, yung length niya is uh, 3 feet. And then, given din ang diameter. Diameter uh, equals 4 inch. Okay. So, ang tinatanong dito class is for letter A. The maximum shear stress, so tau max. And then for B, is yung angle of twist theta. So, una class is kailangan ma-determine muna natin or ma-identify natin kung yung torque applied ba is a positive torque or a negative torque. Anyway, so kung may torque dito class and then support ito sa point B, so therefore, uh, magre-resist ito ng ano, opposite direction. No? So, pag ganito siya. So, same um, uh, value niya na 15 kilopound foot pero opposite ang direction. Okay, para in equilibrium. So, ito class under to ng statically determinate. Ibig sabihin, madaling makuha yung mga support reaction. Okay, so ngayon class pipili tayo ng, ano, ng face na gusto natin i-analyze. Is it yung face dito sa point A, yung face dun sa, sa likod sa B. So, let's say assuming ito yung gusto natin i-analyze. So, ang gagawin ko, maglalagay ako ng right hand dito para malaman ko kung ito is positive torque or a negative torque. So, paano yung right hand dyan, class? So, kung ito yung face, lalagay ko yung kamay ko dyan, pag ganyan. Okay? So, kapag sinunod nung, nung direction nung curl ng daliri ko yung torque, ibig sabihin positive siya. Okay? So, ito, so, sumunod siya, ba The same direction, uh, counterclockwise. So, ibig sabihin, itong torque na to is a positive torque. Okay, ngayon class, uh, i-practice natin mag-drawing ng ano, internal torque diagram kasi itong internal torque diagram nakakatulong siya para mas masod natin mas madali lalo na yung mga complicated na shaft na subjected sa maraming torque. Dito kasi class isa lang yung torque. Eh. So pwedeng hindi na siya mag-torque diagram pero i-practice na lang natin kung paano siyang ginagawa. Okay, so paano siyang gagawin class? So let's say ito yung side view. Okay, so, ito yung A, ito yung B. So, dodrawing na natin yung torque, no? So, dito, uh, may torque na pa ganyan. Which is, ito yung 15 kilopound foot, which is ang assumption natin dito, di ba, is positive. Kasi ito yung kinonsider natin yung face. So, dito naman sa kabilang side is, pa ganito naman. So, same amount na 15 kilopound foot. So, ang gagawin natin class, so drawing tayo ng internal torque diagram. So, paano yung class? So, parang actual force diagram lang to. So, ayan na. Internal torque diagram. So, initially, start tayo dito sa A. Tapos, anything above sa axis na to, horizontal axis, is positive. Anything below is negative. So, starting from A, meron tayong nakikitang torque na 15 kilopound foot, which is positive siya. So, ang gagawin ko, from A, aangat ako ng 15. So, mapupunta ako dito, which is 15. And then, between A to B, so wala nang ibang torque na nag exist So, therefore, constant ito. And then, pagdating sa sa B, so meron na generate na torque dito, which is opposite dun sa unang torque natin. So, therefore, pababa naman siya hanggang sa masiro out natin. Okay, so ibig sabihin na ito class, sa torque diagram na to, that yung whole member AB natin is nakaka-receive siya ng positive torque na equivalent sa 15 
kilo pound foot. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, any cutting section dito, class, mag-cut tayo na mag -cut. Ang makukuha natin, positive internal torque na amount is 15 kilo pound foot. Okay? So, ngayon, ready na tayo mag-solve ng maximum shear stress. So, for A, so, yung tau max. Okay? So, recall natin that yung formula sa tau max is, in general, is T R over J. Okay? So, sabi ko nga class, pwede mo i-memorize yung mga formula na in terms of diameter, pero ako class, itong gagamitin ko. Okay? And then, kung marirecall mo class, for a solid circular shop, yung J is pi R raised to 4 over 2. So, that tau max is equal sa T R over pi R raised to 4 over 2 or uh, T over pi R cube over 2. So, ito na po yung formula. Ngayon, class, identify lang muna natin yung paggamit ng units para tama ang, ang, ang resulting unit natin ng shear stress. Okay? So, kung mag... Uh, May metric ako, class. Ang gagamitin kong unit nito is uh, naka-newton mm. Okay? And then, etong radius is naka-millimeters. So, magiging resulting unit nito is newton mm over yung radius mm. So, mm cube. Okay, so therefore, lalabas is newton per mm squared or mega pascal. Okay, yun ay kung metric. How about naman kung ano class? Uh, English ang unit. So, ang gagamitin ko naman kung English is yung, so gagamitin ko naman is blue. So, ano naman? Uh, pound inch. Okay. Tapos dito, gagamitin ko naman is inch. So, therefore, magiging ano siya class. Uh, pound inch over, eto, inch na magiging inch cube. So, labas dyan class is uh, pound per inch squared or uh, PSI. Okay? So, yun yung gagamitin ko mga unit pag ako ang magsusolve. So, therefore, ang gamitin ko na to yung, yung torque, T, it's ilan yan? 15 kilo pound foot. So, uh, 15 keep foot. So, therefore, i-convert yung kilo pound sa pounds. So, times uh, 1,000 pounds per 1 keep. Okay, and then yung foot, ko-convert ko rin. So, 12 inch per 1 foot. Okay, para magka-cancel ito, tapos mag-cancel yung feet, magiging pound inch. Okay, and then divided by pi, yung radius is ilan class. Binigyan tayo ng diameter na 4 inch, so therefore radius is 2 inch. And then cube over 2. So, tama. So, therefore, ang, ang resulting unit niyan class is naka-PSI na. So, calculate na lang natin. Fifteen times one thousand times twelve divided by pi times two cube over two. So sa got is ayan fourteen three two three point ninety four. And then the unit is psi. Or kung nalalakihan ka dyan class, so pwede natin siyang i-convert further sa ksi. So uh, times ano na lang, uh, one ksi over 1,000 PSI So, lalabas is 14.32 KSI But still, pares lang naman yun So, ayun na yung Maximum uh, Shear stress Okay? And then next Is yung uh, Angle of twist So, for Angle of twist naman, theta. So, we recall that formula nun is uh, TL over JG. Okay, so ganun ulit class. Aralin muna natin ang units. 
So, ito, gagamitin ko dyan, kung metric is newton millimeter, yung length is naka millimeters, ito naka uh, millimeter raised to 4, and then, itong G, gagamitin ko dyan is yung mega pascal. Okay? So, kapag yan ang ginamit kong unit class, anong lalabas? So, newton mm squared, over ito uh, mm raised to 4 and then mpa so mm squared mm raised to 4 sa so magiging mm squared to and then ito newton mm squared so that is mpa and then over mpa so therefore unit less and then ang lalabas is that uh, Angle is in radians. Okay? And then, how about kapag naman ako ay ginamit ko is yung English unit. So, ito gagawin ko. Pound inch. Ito gagawin ko inch. Ito gagawin ko inch raised to 4. Ito gagawin ko PSI. Okay? So, that ang magiging resulting unit niyan is pound inch. And then, may inch pa ulit dito. So, pound inch squared over inch raised to 4 and then PSI. So, magka-cancel yung inch squared, inch squared dito, matitira inch squared dito. So, pounds per inch squared PSI. So, magiging PSI over PSI. So, unitless ulit or radians ang angle. Okay? So, ngayon ready na ako isolve yung theta. So, ano, ano ba yung theta dito kala? So, let's say represent muna tayo ng ano, no? straight line before yung application ng torque T. So, initially straight line yan. So, from this point, papunta dito. Ngayon, nung inikot ko to class, so, therefore, ito, hindi siya gagalaw kasi nasa fixed end siya. And then, itong point na nandito sa A is magta-travel siya along dun sa rotation. So, kung mag-rotate siyang ganito, positive. So, therefore, yung point A, mag-rotate din siyang positive. So, mangyayari, mapupunta siya dito. Okay? So, magta-travel si Jen. So, initially, andi dito siya. So, project ko siya papunta dito sa center. And then, yung pupunta niya, pupunta siya dito. So, ayan na yung, sabihin may na-travel siya angle, theta. So, yung orientation na nito is pag ganito. Okay? Ganyan siya. Okay, so, yung dating straight line, is dahil nagka-torque, so malilipat yung position nito and then ito yung hinahanap natin. Yung uh, theta angle of twist. Now anyway, so ready na tayo mag-solve. So substitute natin, yung torque T is uh, 15 kilopound foot. Okay, so siguro dito ko na lang siya sulat sa baba. So theta is equal to 15 kilopound foot and then convert so, 1 kilo pound, 1,000 pounds, and then yung feet, so 1 foot, 12 inches, so torque, and then yung length, so yung length niya is 3 feet, so 3 feet, and then convert ulit by uh, 12 inch per 1 foot, and then J is pi r raised to 4 over 2. So, your radius is uh, 2 inch. So, raised to 4. And then, ilan yung G? So, binigyan tayo dito na G is equal sa 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. Okay. So, gamitin ko lang yun dito. 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. So, pag yan yung mga units ko, therefore, unitless na yung theta or nakalad na yan. So, pagpindutin na lang natin. So, ilan na theta class? Okay. So, sagot. Ayan na. Point. 0 0.0215 radians. Okay. But commonly, yung angle is naka 
degrees sa convert natin. So, times 180 degrees divided by pi regions. Okay, so, therefore, ilan na ngayon yung theta in degrees? So, times 180 divided by pi. So, sagot is 1.231 degrees. So, yun yung magiging angle of rotation ng point A with respect sa B. Okay, so, ito na yung sagot. Okay, so, check natin class kung tama ang ating mga sagot. So, 14.32 KSI and then 1.231 degrees. Okay? Next. So, sabi dyan class is that the figure shows a 2-inch diameter solid steel cylinder that is built into the support at C and subjected to torques TA and TB. Determine the maximum shear stresses in segments a, B, and B, C of the cylinder and compute the angle of rotation of end A. Use G is equal to 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for steel. Okay, so ang gawin natin class is i-drawing muna natin siya. So, let's say ito siya. So, nandito dito yung fixed support sa C. So, this one is uh, A B C. And then sa A, meron T A. So, ganito yung direction niya. So, that is 900 pound put. And then, dito sa B is pa ganito naman. So, that is uh, TB na 400 pound foot. Okay. So, given din yung mga distances and then yung corresponding diameter. Okay. So, ito is 3 feet long and then this one is 5 feet long. So, in diameter is equal sa uh, 2 inch. Okay, so, kung titingin natin itong figure na ito, class is under na naman siya ng statically determinate, no? which is, kaya natin masolve agad yung support reaction dito sa C. So, kung dito is may uh, torque na TA 900, so pag ganito is 400, so therefore, merong excessive load pa na uh, pag ganitong direction na 500. So, therefore, yun na ngayon yung magiging support reaction at C. So, pag ganito siya. Okay, para mag yung dito merong 500 pound foot na torque. Okay? So, ngayon class, pili ka ng gusto mo i-consider na side. Gusto mo ba itong sa, sa right side ng bar natin or yun nandito dito sa C? Okay? Kung bahala. So, since dito tayo nagsisimula, no? Pag nagdodrawing tayo ng internal torque diagram, so dito tayo mag-drawing. So, do-drawing ako ng axis dito, class. So, pag naglagay ako ng kamay dito, pag ganito yan. Okay, pag ganyan yung kamay class. So, try ko lang maglagay ka lang sa. Okay, so ito yung right hand ko. Ibig sabihin, kapag yung torque is pinafollow niya yung ganyang curve. Okay, or pag ganito, yung curve ng uh, torque natin, ibig sabihin, positive torque siya. Otherwise, hindi. So, ito ba class, sumusunod ba to? Sumusunod siya, no? Yung, yung curve is pa ganun. So, pa ganun din yung kamay ko. Yung right hand ko. So, therefore, ito. Using yung analysis sa left section. So, this one is positive. This one is positive. And then, this one is yung negative, no? So, kapag tayo nag-drawing ng internal torque diagram is, ganito na siya. Okay? So, anything above is positive. Anything below is negative. So, start tayo. So, from... Uh, point C, so merong torque dito, which is positive torque. So, aangat ako ng 500. 
and then between C to B, so wala nang torque dyan, so constant, until such time sa B, may torque ulit na 400, which is the same direction ng una nating torque, so therefore positive ulit. So magpa plus 400, so magiging 900. And then from B to C, so wala na namang torque, so constant ulit until such time sa, sa A, may torque na opposite ng direction nito so pababa na siya. So 900, so maki zero. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin class? That yung lahat ng segment natin, yung segment C to B, is nakaka-receive siya ng positive torque. Na ang equivalent amount niya is 500. And then dito naman sa member B to C, is may to internal torque naman siya na receive na 900 ang amount. Okay, so ngayon ready na tayong isolve yung hinahanap na no? for 1. Ang hinahanap is yung uh, maximum shear stress sa segment AB and shear stress sa segment BC. Okay? So, uh, shear stress AB. So, ayun na, record lang natin that shear stress, maximum shear stress is equal sa TR over J. So, for AB, magiging ano to? T sa AB. Tapos, ito is yung radius sa AB. And then, yung J sa AB. Wherein, dahil parehas lang naman yung radius all throughout. So, pwedeng radius na lang to. Anyway, so, input natin. So, etong torque. Sa AB, ito siya, di ba? Ay, hindi pala. AB, ito pala yung AB class. A, B, C. Ito pala class ng no? AB. Sorry, ha. AB. So, ang torque sa AB is 900. So, lalagay ko dito is 900 pound foot. So, kukonvert ko yung foot. So, 1 inch, ah, 12 inches per 1 foot. So, TR over J. So, pwede ba class itong R over J? Ano to? Di ba mag mangyari magiging TR over pi over 2 R raised to 4 yan? So, magiging T over pi over 2 and then R cube na lang. So, ito na lang gagamitin ko class para mas konti na lang yung input mo sa calculator. So, pi over 2 and then yung radius is kung 2 inch ito, yung diameter. So, therefore, radius is 1 inch and then cube. So, ilan nga yun ang shear stress sa AB, yung maximum. So, 900 times 12 divided by pi over 2. And then, ayan, ilan siya. So, sagot is uh, 6, 8, 7, 5.49. And then, the unit is PSI yan. Okay, so, pag nag-cancel, cancel tayo. So, ito na yung sagot. How about do naman sa segment? Uh... BC. So, that is yung torque BC naman. And then, yung radius sa segment PC. And then, yung J sa BC. But still, the same nga lang yung, yung, yung J sa yung radius. So, ito na lang din. No? Ang gamitin ko yan. So, yung torque sa BC is, ito naman yun. No? Pakikita mo is 500. So, 500 pound foot convert. So, 12 inches 1 foot. And then, over pi over 2 and then yung radius is 1 inch and then cube. So, shear stress ngayon sa BC is equal to so 500. Okay, so sagot is ayan o no? uh, 3819.72 PSI Okay, yun shear stress. Okay, next. Na tinatanong is yung uh, angle of rotation of end A. Okay? So, for 2, ang tinatanong is angle of rotation of end A. So, kalas, kadalasan niyan, tinatanong niya angle of rotation of that point with respect sa fixed point, which is yung C. So, ganito ko siya i-denote. Angle of rotation of A with respect sa C. Okay? So, the drawing lang ako dito ko sa So, para ma-visualize natin siya. And then, mamaya, hindi na natin kailangan mag-drawing. No? Susundin na lang natin yung sign ng mga 
torque natin. So let's say ito yung A. Ay, hindi. Gagawin ko class, magkikreate ako ng ano, no? Initial na horizontal line. Nung wala pang torque. So straight line pa itong horizontal. So ganyan siya. Okay. So ito ngayon yung magiging point A ko. Ito yung point B. And then dito yung point C. Okay. Tapos makikita mo dito class is that may mga torque, di ba? May mga internal torque na nandun doon sa ating shaft. So, paano ba natin malalaman yung angle ng movement na itong A with respect dun sa C? Kasi yung C, di ba, hindi siya gagalaw. So, ito, magta-travel to it either papunta dito or papunta dito. Ngayon, class, para ma-analyze ma natin siya, pipili ulit tayo ng surface na i-consider natin positive or negative. So, ngayon, class, ito naman yung surface na tinitignan natin. Yung yung nasa harap. So, ano yung positive torque dyan at ano yung negative torque dyan. So, pag nilapat ko dyan yung kamay ko, so parang pa ganito naman siya. Okay. So, ayun na, pag, ganito, pag ito yung sinisilip ko, class, therefore, pag ganito yung positive, no? Okay, so, para malaman natin yung rotation na ito, e apply natin yung mga torque. So, unahin natin consider itong torque sa CB. So, sa CB, nakaka-receive siya ng positive torque. So, ibig sabihin, itong segment na to, no? Kung tatakpan ko muna to, itong segment CB is nakaka-receive siya ng positive torque. So, therefore, iikot rin siya ng positive angle. So, yung positive natin is pag ganito, diba? So, iikot ito. Iikot natin yan. So, therefore, itong B, madi-displace yan. Magpupunta siya dito. So, yung C, andi dito pa rin siya. So, therefore, ito na ngayon yung location ng bagong B considering yung torque pa lang na to. Okay? Yung CB. Yung torque sa CB, yun pa lang yung in-apply natin. So, umikot itong B, pumunta siya dito. Okay? So, therefore, syempre, itong A susunod yan. Mapupunta yan dito. Mapupunta dito yung A. Kasi gumalaw yung B. So, therefore, gagalaw rin itong A papunta dyan. Ngayon, class, considering naman itong torque na to, so, sa, mem uh, sa segment AB, So, meron another torque na naman, no? So, ito naman, yung segment na to, papaikutin naman natin siya. So, ang mangyayari, dahil positive torque plate ito, so, therefore, positive rotation ulit. So, therefore, ito naman, considering yung B, tapos iikot ito. So, therefore, an another movement na naman for A, mapupunta na siya dito sa point na to. Okay, tapos, ganyan. Ah, ito. Okay. Ulitin ko klasa, itong B, nag-move siya, pupunta dito kasi meron torque sa segment CB, pinaikot siya. So, napunta siya dito. Tapos, sa segment AB, so may torque na namang another positive, so iikot na naman siya further, pupunta dito. So, therefore, kung ito yung center, ito yung initial radial line, so napunta dito yung bagong A, no? Ito na yung A prime. So, therefore, it yung angle na na-travel nung A to A prime is yun yung hinahanap na uh, angle of twist nung A with respect sa line at C. Gets? ba diba ito yung line papuntang C? Tapos ito yung angle na na-travel nung A with respect dun sa line at C. Okay, so paano natin kukunin yung class? So may nakikita ka dito. ba diba ito? Tama ba? Is equal lang yun dito, class. So, pag pinreject ko yun dito, so, parang ito yung angle niya. So, yung angle na ito naman is tinatawag naman nating angle of twist nung B with respect sa C. Bakit? Kasi, di ba yun yung tinravel ng B with respect dun sa line na dinurawing natin sa C. So, angle na tinravel ng B with respect sa line sa C. Ito yun. How about yun di dito, class? Ito na magkas is tinatawag natin angle of twist ng point A with respect sa line at B. Tama ba? Kasi tingnan mo to Ito yung line. Di ba pupunta siya sa B? Di ba ito yung B class? Bagong B. Tawagin ko siyang B prime. So, with respect sa line sa B na nakreate, nagtravel ulit si A. So, therefore, yun yung angle na tinravel ng A with respect sa line at B. Okay, so therefore now, using yung diagram na to, ano yung masasabi natin, class? Paano masasabi yung angle of twist of point A with respect sa C? 
ay eh, di equal yung sa pinagsamang envelope twist nung B from C plus envelope twist no of A from B. Okay? So, yan po yung formula. Ngayon, class, kung i-recall natin that envelope twist general formula is PL over JG. Okay, so apply na lang natin yung dito, no? That envelope twist of A uh, from C is equal sa ito. So, magiging ano to? T. So, dahil B to C lang to, so therefore, yung torque na nag-exist lang sa B to C. So, yung length na gagamitin ko, yung length between B to C lang din, and then, over J ng B to C, and then yung G ng B to C. And then, plus, eto naman, angle from A to B, so therefore, magiging torque lang to from A to B, length lang ng A to B, and then, J ng A to B, and then, G of A to B. Okay? So, since ang case naman natin plus is homogeneous yung material natin, no? So, therefore, kung ano yung G dito, yun din yung G dito. No? Same lang itong dalawang G. And then, since same lang ang cross-sectional area all throughout, so, therefore, parehas lang din yung J. Okay? So, therefore, rewriting this equation, A to C is equal yan sa ano, class. Lalabas ko na to, ha? Magiging ano, 1 over JG and then times T ABC LBC plus T A B L A B Okay So and so let's not 1 over ilan yung J class So yung J yung pi r is to 4 over 2 So pi and then yung radius is dahil uh, 2 inch diameter nga yan no? so 1 inch So 1 inch raised to 4 over 2 and then yung G binigyan ba tayo ng G class? Yes sabi that G is 12 times 10 raised to 6 ESI okay so 12 times 10 raised to 6 ESI and then dito so TBC ilan yung torque sa BC class? di ba positive yan? so lalagay natin class yung positive Kasi kung negative, dilagay natin negative, no? So, dahil positive to. So, positive. 500. So, the unit is pound foot. So, convert natin. So, 12 inch per 1 foot. So, ilan yung length BC? So, yung length BC is ito. 3 feet. So, times 3 feet and then 12 inch per 1 foot. Okay. And then another plus. So, ilan naman tong torque sa AB class? Is it positive torque? Yes. No, positive. 900. So, plus positive 900 LB feet and then convert. So, 12 inch 1 foot. Ayan. And then, ilan yung ano, length AB class? So, 5 naman siya. Okay, so times 5 foot and then convert 12 inch per 1 foot. Okay, so buo na ang equation class. Medyo mahaba lang. Pakipindot, ilan ang angle of twist of A with respect to C. In regions pa lang yan class. Okay, so 1 over pi over 2 times 12 E6 and then times 500 by 12 by 3 by 12 plus 900 by 12 by 5 by 12. Okay, check ko lang input ko class. Okay, so, ang sagot is, ayan, nakikita nyo pa ba, class? So, sagot is, 0 0.0458 regions. So, convert natin, so, times 180 degrees per pi 
rad. So, ilan ang angle of twist of A with respect sa C? So, times 180 divided by pi. So, sagot is 2.63 degrees. Okay, ayan, plus. Okay, so, ito na yung sagot. Okay, so, check natin kung tama ang mga sagot. So, uh, TAB 6875.49, TBC 3819.72, and then angle of twist of A with respect to C is uh, 2.63. Okay, so yung next problems class, uh, next video na ulit natin siya, i-discuss. Okay, so, ayan, thank you guys for watching and God bless.